What's up, YouTube? I got a question for you. Which is worse, doubters or haters? Doubters or haters? Everybody's crying and complaining and tweeting and hashtagging about haters. And I understand, I got them too. <laughs> but I think maybe worse than haters sometimes is doubters. Why? Because anything and everything good or great accomplished in this life is accomplished through faith. 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 You have to believe in order to accomplish good things, in order to accomplish great things. So doubters are people that don't believe. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in you. And they will let you know about it. Doubters. Doubters don't believe. Doubters often deceive through doubt. And so how do you deal with doubters? How do you deal with doubters? Well, number one, cut them off if you can. Cut them off. Cut off their lines of communication to you because doubt is deceptively subtle and it can creep in and kill your faith. Often you have to encourage yourself. Declare what you believe and receive it and believe it for yourself because not often are there many people to encourage you. But how else do you deal with doubters? Hmm. When they say, you can't, you can't, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't, you can't, you can't, I can. That's my answer, I can. When people tell me I can't, what I say, what I think is, you're telling me that I can't because you don't believe. So maybe for you, because you don't believe, maybe you can't. But that's got nothing to do with me. Because I can. Because I believe I can. Like the, the engine, the little train that could. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I saw a Will Smith interview a long time ago. He said, quoting Confucius or somebody... Often, he who says he can, or he who thinks he can, and he who thinks he can't, are both usually right. And that's a, a, a principle. It's a principle of truth. It's a principle of success and failure. Is Success is rooted in belief. It's rooted in faith. And when you have doubters telling you you can't, Oftentimes it's because they can't. Or it's because they decided they can't. Even if they could. Even if they really could, they decided they can't. And so, they think you can't. I can. Doubters are troublesome. Because doubters are your family. Doubters are your friends. Doubters might be your, your spouse. They might be your partner, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your cousin, your best friend, your children. Your confidant could be a doubter. Just want to tell you. Doubters say you can't. Because they doubt. Well, I doubt they will ever accomplish much good or much great in this world and in this life. Don't be a doubter. If you want to be good, 
If you want to be great, if you want to do good, if you want to do great, you have to believe, you have to have faith that you can. You can. You can because God says you can. To him who believes, all things are possible with God, right? That's Jesus said that. Some of the greatest men that ever lived, they said, you are more than a conqueror. You're an overcomer. They also said, all things are possible with God. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You might not be a Christian. You might not believe in Christ. I don't care. The principle still applies. I believe I can. Even if I've never done it before. I believe I will. Even if I've never done it before. Because I decided that I can. I decided that I will. There's a journey and a process of failure and trial and error and making mistakes and growing and learning and suffering through the pains of disappointment, discouragement, defeat. I just want to tell any of you and all of you out there who believe you can, you can realize your vision. You can realize and live out your dreams. You can, you can, you can. If you believe you can, you can. Overcome the doubters and the haters by declaring and believing, I can. Robert Kiyosaki says, don't ever say I can't. Instead, ask yourself this question. How can I? How can I afford it? Not, I can't afford it. Not, I can't go. How can I go? Not, I can't do that. How can I do that? Because when you say, I can't, you're done. You're finished. You shut down the door of opportunity that's in front of you. But when you ask yourself, how can I, you force yourself to continue to think about finding a way, finding a solution, because there is a way. The Wright brothers believed they could fly. Everybody probably told them, you can't. They were asking the question, how can we fly? How can man fly? Because they were asking the question, how can man fly? Instead of saying, man can't fly. They found a way. They're one of many examples. A lot of people told Abraham Lincoln, you can't abolish slavery. He did. There are so many doubters in this world. To me, they're as bad or worse than haters. Because they're done. They're finished with you, with your dreams, with your goals, your ambitions. Shut their communication down. Cut them off if you have to. Even if sometimes they're the closest people to you. It hurts, I know. I'm not saying stop loving them. I'm not saying you have to get them out of your life completely. But I am saying you have to shut down their doubt coming in to your ears. Because all they're saying is that they can't. And they don't think you can either. 
If you keep asking the question, how can I? You might just find a way. Be inspired today. Inspire and encourage somebody else. Strengthen somebody else. Speak life to somebody else. Because today, you can. Go change the world.